Hello everyone, welcome to a really quick Katatis tutorial just talking about enumeration and how it can actually help you and is super simple to use. Um, so let's start off quickly with what you probably have already in at least one of your projects. Um, so let's create a new variable, let's call it poo bags and set it as an integer. Uh, don't ask me what a poo bag is, I don't know. So let's add two inputs. Uh, one on the keyboard and two on the keyboard nice and simple so when the user presses two we're going to give them one extra poo bag and be sure to set it and connect it to pressed there we go and then when they want one they want to find out how much poo bags they've got so drag the integer back in switch on int I don't like the default pin so I like to remove it zero one and two so they can have a maximum of two poo bags awesome so now let's create three print strings quickly bam bam and bam nice and simple hook them up and let's just set the text real quick let's have you have you have zero poo bags can't even type uh, you have one whole poo bag bags uh, let's change that poo bag and then you have all the poo bags there we go uh, awesome so let's just give that a quick test so when we press one I obviously have no poo bags um, so we press two to give the player a poo bag and do it again I have one whole poo bag and then do that a lot again so two and then one you have all the poo bags nice and simple so let's uh, turn all that into uh, the enumeration version, which is absolutely dead simple. So just right click the content browser, blueprints, enumeration, let's call it enum poo bags. Uh, right, and then add three inputs. Actually, no, let's go ahead and add four. All right, so has zero poo bags. Uh, second one will be has two uh, has one poo bag and then two times the poo bag and then finally all the poo bags awesome so you're probably wondering we just made that how do we get it into our blueprints we well, can actually access enumeration from variables so if we just create a new variable here, I'm just going to leave it as new there. And then in the search box in the instant of type, I'm literally going to type the name of the enum we made. So that would be enum poo bags. Excellent. And so we'll go up to the second button and bring in the enum. And then just create a switch node. Uh, as you can see here, all the enums we made are displayed. Um, there we go and so if they have zero and they press two they want one so let's set that as one it's probably good to note that um, all the enums that you set in blueprints are independent of each other you can use enums in pretty much any blueprint that accepts a variable however they only fire that that, that setting on that blueprint so for example if in the level blueprint I have at this point I set one poo bag it won't be one poo bag for everyone everyone will stay at zero poo bags unless I say otherwise per blueprint which is very helpful trust me right so let's carry on again uh, has one poo bag he'll now have two uh, I can't even look. see there we go two poo bags and then obviously if he has two he'll now have all the poo bags so as you can see nice and simple zero to one one to two two to all of them and obviously the fourth one's blank because they can't get any more and then for this little part we will get rid of this switch on int and literally just bring in this switch on enum poo bags again uh, there we go and then obviously just connect these back up zero one two and then add another one you have all the poo bags and more and then connect that up to the final one nice and simple so just like before let's press one zero poo bags so let's give ourselves a poo bag and press one again one whole poo bag repeat all the poo bags and all the poo bags and more excellent so 
that's basically how enoms work. As as I said before, um, there there are many benefits and cons to uh, using integers and enums. Preferably, you should be using enums, only because they're easier to see what you're actually connecting up instead of zero, one, two, three. Because say for example, you had fifty switch on ints, it's very hard to figure out what's connected to what and why. Whereas with enums, you get a short little description and. Uh, Second point, obviously, is you can use them in any blueprint, which I'll, I'll show you in a second. Well, pretty much any blueprint, which I'll show you in a second. And uh, thirdly, enums are awesome. You don't really need a third reason. And um, they're a lot cleaner than switch on ints. Uh, and all in all, with the description and being able to use it in multiple blueprints, it just makes the whole operation smoother. Uh, there is a downside to enums compared to ints. For example, uh, random is a lot easier to do on uh, integers so for, for that you just do switch on in uh, switch on int oh, I can't even type it right let's try that again switch on in there we go second time to chant and there we go we can then do random in range so that's how you do random um, with enums it's a bit harder but it is doable um, but obviously if you if that's what you want to do if that's your thing then you might want to use e integers in that case but if for everything else you want to be using enums because enums are the best um, I promised I'd show you it in a separate blueprint so we'll go ahead and do that real quick so let's just call this uh, PB BP for poo bag blueprint and then literally because I'm lazy we're just going to add the variable again uh, enum poo bags uh, and then nice and simple we're actually going to create a custom event you'll see why in a second call it give me a poo bag don't say that every day to be honest uh, awesome and then I'm just going to copy all this code uh, for the two there we go and then what I'm going to do is throw that pbbp into the world that we just created obviously with it selected now in the level blueprint uh, I can just create a reference to it and then fire that event You're probably wondering why I'm doing it this way and that's because obviously actor blueprints don't like input believe it or not so this is the easiest way to give them some input and then um, what you'll notice here is something actually which is very important to note and I totally left it out because I'm an idiot pretty much um, if we do this now, you'll notice it will always say zero poo bags, even if you press two. Why is that? Because even though this is the same enum between both, you don't actually change the same enum. So, for example, let's change the default value of this enum to all the poo bags, okay, and keep this one at zero, zero poo bags. So when we press one, it's zero poo bags. We'll press the give poo bags. It will still say zero poo bags. Uh, this is because obviously enums, even though they can be used in loads of blueprints, as I said before, they're separate to each and every instance of the enum. So you, that's basically to stop you firing events uh, on switch on enums that you don't actually want, and it helps keep things clean and blueprints separated from each other. Um, if you obviously wanted to send the value over that's not a problem um, for example let's just simply add here uh, let's get the PBBP again and then literally just get the variable what did we call it I think it was just new var wasn't it uh, new var1 yeah there we go delete the actual blueprints new var1 uh, and just connect it there so we're actually now using the enum from the PBBP and then if by magic all the poo bags and more so hang on let's just change that default value back to that to zero poo bags uh, I'm very mature aren't I and then zero poo bags one poo bag all the poo bags and more excellent so hopefully I managed to explain them in a nice simple way without getting too complicated obviously it's down to you from here to figure out everything you can do to enums I mean I haven't totally abused them yet um, but it's it's really just down to your creativity mm -hmm.